All right. Hello, Ted. Oh. oh. <laughs> Thank you for meeting me here. Uh, so, uh, as you're a little bit aware of this format, we're conducting this interview because there's a Berlin collaboration incubator, which is kicking off in a couple of days from this interview, two days to be precise. And with your work in sociocracy for all, there is a lot of overlap. The topic that we explore is global decentralized uh, decision making. And actually Manuela, Bosch and myself thought it would be nice to reach out to somebody in the community to interview. Um, and she mentioned that you're interested in these incubators. So um, this is why we've decided to come together today. Yeah. Yeah, sounds great. I'm excited. Awesome. And where do you find yourself today? Uh, how are you feeling? Um, geographically, I'm in Western Massachusetts in Amherst in the so-called five college area. So it's a little very progressive area um, in the US. And um, this is, yeah, I, I tend to joke, I, I live on Zoom. So I spend a lot of time in video calls like this and I have even lost track for today. Mm -hmm. um, and it has been, um, I guess mentally, I'm, I'm, a, I'm in a funny in between stage because I spend the morning solid four hours or so working on a business plan, running numbers. And this, the time immediately before our, our conversation here, I spend with somebody, um, she has, an, um, is very deep into old wisdom, Native American. Um, mm. And we were talking about that. So I'm like, you know, there's numbers here and there's the, the like, you know, seven generations back in this other part of my mind. So <laughs> let's see which way I'll go here. <laughs> Oh, that's so relevant. Um, yeah, I was actually rewording my pitch or, you know, the brief we write about ourselves for these incubators and speaking to the liminal space and how there is a, a, the space between the magical and the logical. And they seem such opposites, but when you can find this ground where both are influencing, then you know, we become so open when you can hold that paradox. So I reward that uh, and celebrate that you're in the space of both, both and. <laughs> yes. Wonderful. And uh, so you're a Zoom uh, aficionado. I, I have to say I'm not. Uh, technology is not on my side. Uh, is everything coming through clear? Is the lighting and audio working? Yep. Yes. Fantastic. As are yours. Excellent. Yeah, I have my favorite wall for video calls. <laughs> yeah. You could also take a passport photo with that one. So <laughs> it's multifunctional. For this. I don't know. <laughs> and a story to be told. Excellent. Okay. So uh, for those viewing at home, uh, I'll quickly recap the structure. So this is our check in. Um, after this, we are going to lead into a deep dive where we can explore your work. And I prepared a few questions. Uh, I sent some topics through to you and spent a little time today as well exploring where we might want to take this interview, but I'm also happy to see what might naturally emerge. Uh, after that, we can uh, check back into ourselves then we're going to record a shorter video, which can be for your promotional purpose, a pitch or an invitation. And following that, we'll do a checkout and summarize how everything went for us, how we found it and whether there's anything to learn. Sound good? Yeah, sounds great. Lovely. All right, so let's move into zone two.